Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you a very fun way of extracting text from a picture or a PDF that you can use to your own benefit and you can get a very good accuracy when you're reading text from PDF using R. And today uh, there's a fun package called Tesseract and we'll see how do we use it to uh, extract information from a PDF or a picture uh, that you can use in your projects or in your daily day-to-day -day lives. Right? With that, let's jump right in. So if you see on my screen, I have the library Tesseract. So before you run this library, you should just type install dot packages and do Tesseract, right? Once you have run that, then you just need to run library Tesseract. That just makes sure that the package is loaded. And now I want the English language to be loaded in this particular package, right? I don't want any other language. I want the code to read English language from the picture that I put into it. So I'll run English is equal to Tesseract English. Now I took a screenshot of a Wikipedia page that uh, I'll just try to uh, get into the text variable and my engine would be English because I just uh, renamed it above. Right, I won't go into the depth of each each line of the code because this series is fun with R. So we want to see what new things we can do with it, and I think uh, this will be very much self-explanatory once you see the output. So in this series, just focus on the output and then see how the code was written. That's the best way to learn, in my opinion. So now running this line of code. Okay, so the text has been run, and now I'll use the cat function to see what textual value it is. If you don't know what the cat function is, a video on the top right of the screen should pop up right about right now, and you should be able to you know go to that video where I explain cat, paste, and paste zero of how they are used in R. If I run the cat text, I just get the information from that picture, right? And it's very very uh, you know straightforward. I took the picture about an India Pakistan cricket rivalry. And I can copy paste it from here into a Word document or into a PowerPoint or wherever do I like. Now I can do it from Wikipedia page as well. But what if you, you know, you keep collecting screenshots of various pages when you uh, do your research every day and you just want a particular sentence, a particular paragraph and you have 10 different sources, right? So you can just collate all the pictures, convert them into text and then just use them wherever you like. And the, the, the format will also be very easy to make sure that it's the same. Now, if you want to do more than English, let's say you want to read Dutch language or any other language that you have uh, in, in your country, in your city, you can actually, you know, check out uh, the, the Tesseract info package. Right now, I have only English available in the package right now, but you can also add different languages by using a command. So, like, let's say you want to add Dutch language so you can just write tesseract underscore download and in the brackets you can just write nld right and you can just get that language installed and then the tesseract package will read this language from a very uh, same screenshot of any web page as well so this will be very very useful to you now let's move on to a better thing let's say i have a pdf i download any random book online i just want to extract four or five pages of textual from it i don't want it in, P in pdf format i want it in text format Maybe because I just want to read, I just want to print something or I just want to, you know, share some anecdotes or share some text in my blog or share it to any other teammate that might uh, deem it useful in any of my recent researches. So what I'll do, I'll use a PDF tools package to convert my PDF first into a PNG, right, a PIC file. And in that PIC file, I'll run the OCR command from the test rack package and store it on, in another text variable. So what will so what I'm essentially doing is I'm converting PDF into a PIC and then I am extracting text from that PIC. Right? Sounds easy. I'll just run this first. So you'll see that I have a PDF which has like you know 400 500 pages, but I'm only using pages six to eleven that has the prologue of that novel. Okay. So now you can see that all the pages six through eleven have been converted into a PNG file, and now I'll just use the OCR command to read. Uh, text from that PNG file. I'll just run the command. Okay, so now you can see that all of the uh, pages 6 through 11 have been converted into a PNG file and those PNG files has been read by our OCR command in, and been stored into text too. And if I use the cat function, you can see the whole prologue that I wanted to read from this uh, PDF is very much here in my R console itself. Now, 
you might be thinking, why do I need to do this when I can just open the PDF and read it? Why do I need to copy from here when I can just copy paste from PDF? I mean, you can select text in, in PDF as well. Well, this will work a lot in those PDFs where you cannot select text. And these PDFs are generally, you know, the old files or the old novels which people just, you know, scan it via their phones and just make it into PDF and then you can convert them into PNG and read it with an OCR. This will be very helpful in day-to-day -day lives as well. Another thing that you can do with R is that you can knit this document. By knitting, what you do is you uh, make an HTML file with the code and whatever the text is in that file. Let the code run and I'll show you the output in just a second. Okay, so now you can see that the, uh, that the script has been knitted and you can see that it just shows code and the output in that very same document. So let's say you want to break uh, an old PDF into chapters where you want to read pages 1 through 10 then 10 through 20 and you want to just see you know what kind of text you have for those so like right now I have prologue in a very straightforward page right which I can read or use in any capacity I want and I can share this knitted file to my team and they can use it on their end so you can use the knit feature of R studio as well uh, in, in the markdown format to Relate all of your research, all of your screenshots, all of your pictures into textual format and then maybe someone else, an analyst or someone else who is making the PowerPoint can use these particular uh, research picks to uh, make the report even better and make them uh, even more resourceful for whoever is reading it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.